since after we went in that, you know, how, how, how your life changed? After many young kings? So, the soccer star. Soccer star. It changed a lot, you know, because the following year, 2007, I had, I had a song topping charts worldwide. Mm. How you end up getting that break? Well, I, I would give TC a lot of the credit. Jigga. You know, um, a lot of people they say TC robbed me mm. and so forth. We could look at it that way. But we could also look at it as TC and Peter C. Lewis fight for me to get on that rhythm with yeah. Chasu. Fight for me to get on it. And when, when I reach on the rhythm now, I started linking with TC. TC have an eye for music. Mm -hmm. He have a gift. He have an eye for music. He's not really a singer. I don't know why he get into the singing part. <laughs> I hope you see this. <laughs> but remember that he have a gift for music. And when, when he gave me the rhythm, I went by him with about four or five songs. And he said, Fireball, all of them sung in like hits. All of them sung in like hits. However, we don't want hit here, we want classic. Mm. Go back home and get a classic for me. You see, before you do that, and you play some music for me. Play some music and show me how different artists approach rhythms differently. Right? And with that, I get a sense we're talking about. And when I leave, while I leave in, TC started to play the rhythm again and he say, Yeah, yeah! Fire baller! Give me some son of man. Mm. <laughs> I laugh and I leave. When I leave, that stay in my head. Yeah, yeah, fireball again. Then I, oh, 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 oh. I started at Tate and so the initial idea came from him. He's also who reminded me the people of the opera. So give them something opera tech. Right. And I, I started, and then that was it. The rest was history. Hmm. You know, I'm a vibe in the Belgian, grassroots. I don't know if you know grassroots, a yeah. guy by the name of Sheridan. Mm -hmm. I checked Sheridan with the song finish. Sheridan gave me a melody similar to the melody I had, but a little different. And when I hear that melody, Sheridan gave me da 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 Right. And that was it. The rest was history. Mm. I only had two verses. By the time I reached the studio, they told me, hey, you finished your three verses. I lie and I say, yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't want to lose the opportunity. Right. When I finished recording the first two verses, they said, nice, we had a hair third verse now. <laughs> I didn't have a third verse. Mm. So I started freestyling. I said, let me record it now. Let me hear it when I sing it. I don't record it. <laughs> <laughs> and I start. Could never forget the day we first met. It was so perfect, girl. And you know, the rest was history. Mm. With that day, the song started, it had an add on synergy. They started to play a piece of the song in the ad. Everybody was like, hey, what song is that? Right. It started to take off from there. Then a guy by the name of Cabaza. Cabaza was from France. Mm. Cabaza heard the song, talked to Kyle Beaver Henderson, link up with Chasu, and everything that was a day. Carl be valing the song with, with Bob Sinclair. Bob Sinclair loved the song. He take it, re remix it, change it up to how you want it. And that was it. Thing for, for, gone for, clear. For those who know, don't know. For those who don't know, yeah. who is Bob Sinclair? Bob Sinclair is huge. Bob Sinclair is a, a producer slash DJ from, from Europe, from France. Right. He big show the whole of Europe. Even in North America and certain places, they hire him. Pay him a lot of big, big, big money mm. to, to just come and DJ. Yeah, so he's a huge, he's a huge producer. He, he worked with Shaggy. I, I can't remember if he worked with Sean Paul. He worked with a few Caribbean artists who was, was, was shining out there as well. Yeah. Mm. So, he, so, so basically the songs start from an ad? Songs started built from an ad. Mm. That, that ad synergy had. And at the end of the ad, they started, yeah. And that was so new. That vibe was kinda where is that by? Yeah. Uh, so when it, it reached out now, well, that song blew up in two mm. weeks' time. That song <laughs> was number one on the punch. 
Di Pons Kong dong ayo. Pons kan? Iya, ada ada itu always look at that point. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah. that, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> right. So this 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 the video for that song. I'll you know, be, a lot of people yeah. I don't know why because when I watch the video I was like, "Way Fireball in the big leagues, you know, Fireball Fireball reach yeah. where nobody from Trinidad reach, when yeah. Soka. Yeah, yeah. Reached before. Yeah, the you know? one person who reached that before was um Soka where we love and we need right. sweet and KMC um KMC had a vibe too, the but Bell they, for the those guys too. are Trinis? The, yeah, one of them is from Tobago. Right. A matter of fact, the two singers is from Tobago, but our next story by itself. Hmm. I wouldn't even get into that. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Probably but, our next time you'll But at the time that video came out, yeah. that was huge. They, yeah. they don't know but that again, Yeah. At, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is, yeah. a, a lot of people are still criticizing you for the video. Yeah, too much you know? white, white, white babies. Men and those same people who criticize in that video the same ones that criticize the black girls mm. and tell them they know nothing better to do. All mm. they're winding up, all they're winding up in, 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 in video, I show them I'm even getting pay. Those same people. Mm. So I I don't worry about them. Right. I, I as a black man. And that video they're complaining about, the star of the video was who? A black man. Right. So them if they, them they look at it that way. Them look at it in their way. And they had, you know what I mean, that's, I saw you to say, but if that's all the sense they had, mm. I can't remember about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> in between that break, you know, you was well accepted in many countries. Yeah. What, what was your, your, your greatest memory in performance-wise in, in, in whatever country? One thing Trinidad never know. I didn't get to fly out that time. Right. I didn't get to fly out. I had, I had over 60 shows booked in New York. In France in particular, I had over 60 something shows booked. And when I reached France, Italy, Hungary, Germany, all those places would I go up and up to. But the tour never happened. I don't know why, but it never happened. So I never get to tour. And you know, a lot of people will say, but fire, where all that money going by? And think, think. But I never get to make the kind of money I'm supposed to make from the song because of the tour. Now, don't be mistaken, I make a lot of money with the song. But the kind of money I'm supposed to make from that song is supposed to be millions, mm -hmm. US. Right. You know what I mean? Not, not hundreds of thousands, titty. <laughs> right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so I make money with the song. I is one of the artists who live years without doing anything else, just on music. Mm. But, you know, um, I didn't get the tour as I was supposed to, so that, that affected the whole thing. But mm. years after I, I end up in Europe still, I remember being in Croatia, watching a World Cup game, the last <laughs> World Cup, mm. and I didn't have to buy a drink in the bar, in, that, in the um, club I was in. I didn't have to pay for anything. Everybody was, hey, that's fireball. What these is white people yeah. was hey look take fireball take autograph take what whatever he's drinking uh take, take, and yeah it was a scene hmm. and that is that is like eleven years after the fact eleven wow. twelve years hmm. after so imagine if I did each other there when the song was big yeah. <laughs> hmm. I might not I might not be able to handle it hmm. God know what he does do True. and life is the greatest gift so I glad I alive are well. I'm doing my thing still, so at that time I would have had regrets, but I don't have no regrets again.